What's going on YouTube, GSN right here, so in today's video we're talking about a new TFP0 kernel exploit that will be released very soon. Now this video is a little bit delayed due to adverse weather conditions in my area, so sorry for that. But before we start, please check out the new jailbreak forum that we have in here, it's called jailbreak central and it's available at jailbreak.fc365.info. I post news in here and you can of course request jailbreak help, check it out in the description down below. So Brennan Azad posted just a day ago, quote, if you're interested in bootstrapping iOS kernel security to research on A13, keep an iPhone 11 on iOS 13.3. I will be releasing a proof of concept exploit that provides kernel read and write on the iPhone 12.3 17C 5.4. That's basically the build number. So basically he's going to release a kernel exploit with TFP0 that will work on the A13 and A12 devices as well as the older devices. So this would guarantee a jailbreak for the iOS 13 all the way up to the iOS 13.3 including for the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and stuff like that. Pound to own of course, the developer behind the uncover posted quote, if you're on iOS 13.3.1, which is currently the latest version, with an A12 or A13 device, downgrade to 13.3 ASAP. So basically if you are running 13.3.1, go ahead and downgrade while it's still possible because Apple may close the signing window in the future. Of course, at the time I'm making this video, the iOS 13.3 is signed. Pound to own followed up up with this, quote, for what is worth I will be working on updating the uncovered jailbreak for iOS 13.0 all the way up to 13.3 as soon as a new kernel exploit is available. For now make sure that automatic software updates are disabled on your device and save blobs for 13.3. He also proceeded to give some information about what has changed, you know, what breaks the uncover in 13.3. He says, quote, so far I have found three changes that break my existing implementation of the tweak injection on iOS 13 A12 plus and I have already bypassed one of them. The underlying technique behind packless seems to be unaffected though, so that's good. So basically this has to do with the tweak injection and the tweak injection is a component behind the uh, jailbreak which allows your tweaks to work and of course if you don't have this, no tweak would work on your device. And of course the technique that the Uncovered team has is broken on iOS 13, on A12 and A13 devices, but it can be fixed and one of the things that went wrong have already been fixed, two of them remaining. So we're going to see that in the future once the TFP0 exploit is out. Pound to own also posted this, quote, if you're on iOS 13.3.1, you still have a chance to downgrade to 13.3. If you're on iOS 13.0 to 13.2.3, you can update to iOS 13.3. If you are already jailbroken, save blobs and consider staying on your current version for now. Hashtag Uncover. And of course, he finished it up with this, quote, to be clear, Uncover will be updated for all devices on iOS 13.0 to 13.3 for those interested in a semi-untethered but A12 and A13 devices will be the priority. The reason for that being that for the rest of the devices, the iPhone 10 and lower, there's already an iOS 13 jailbreak, including for 13.3.1, which is currently the latest version, and of course I'm talking about the Checkrain jailbreak. The only caveat about that is that this jailbreak, the Checkrain, is actually semi-tethered, which means that you have to connect the uh, device to a computer every time you want the jailbreak, so an alternative like the Uncover would definitely work for those devices as well. So Pound to Own will be updating the uncover for all devices including those supported by the check rain. What Brennan Azad is going to release is very important because this will enable us to finally have an A13 and A12 jailbreak on iOS 13.3 and lower and of course this means that we're going to have a jailbreak finally on those devices because for example the iPhone 11 or 11 Pro do not have a jailbreak at the time I'm making this video for any iOS version and they've been released for quite a while now so yeah it would definitely be nice to finally have a jailbreak on those. But as Pound Own recommends in here you should definitely downgrade as fast as possible to 13.3 and make sure that you disable these software updates on your settings because your device can and will update overnight if you don't do so. So um, it's better to stay on 13.3 at the moment. And if you're already jailbroken, do not update to anything, save your blobs and stay put. Brandon Azad is going to save us again with a kernel exploit that he announced and of course he said you should definitely keep your device on 13.3. So if you're on a lower version of 13, for example 13.2, 13.1 and so on, definitely update to 13.3 and wait in there. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow. Till the next time, don't forget to check out our forum in the description down below and peace out.